What is up guys, welcome to the channel, and in this video, I'm going to tell you the story of Keikal. Like how did she start, where she originated, and some background and achievements in her career. So without further ado, let's begin. Karen J. Dimolkal, or as we all know as K. Kal, was born on February 11, 1989. K's family originated in Davao del Sur, a Christian by religion. A former member of a band known as Ezra Band formed out at her hometown Davao del Sur. Keikal first appeared on Pilipinas Got Talent first season where her band competed and became a grand finalist. Even though the band did not win in the grand finals, they did get a chance to be part of Pinoyo Got It album as these are the compilations of songs from the other PGT finalists. Their covers of the chorus Runaway and Eric Clapton's Wonderful Tonight were included on the album along with their original song Walang Iba. The band has since gone on Hades, and this event led on Keikal's solo artist career. She started uploading videos on YouTube back in 22nd of April 2012, where she covers OPM and international songs. As of today, Keikal already have 325,000 subscribers on her YouTube channel. And the top 3 songs that most viewed on her channel are Sa Aking Puso by Dingdong Avanzado and Jessa Zaragoza with 8.7 million views. Sorry Na Pwede Ba by Rico J. Puno with 6.5 million views and Tandana by Abdarma Down with 5.7 million views. This event helped Keikal back on the spotlight of showbiz again where she released her first single back in 2015 titled Isang Araw along with an accompanying music video. The song was part of OPM Fresh, an album that featured up and coming OPM artists. This was only the start of Keikal's career in music as a solo artist. Keikal signed with Star Music when the head of the label Roxy Likigan told his team to look for her because he strongly believed in her talent and was attracted to her voice. This led to Keikal's debut of her first solo album and a self-titled album called Keikal, which featured 9 tracks including 2 original songs, Rosas and Mahal Ba Ako Nang Mahal Ko, 3 covers and their past singles Walang Iba, Nyebe, Isang Araw, and Give Me a Chance. While the album became successful and loved by many, Keikal achieved some awards including 2017 MOR Pinoy Music Awards where she won the OPM Revival of the Year for the single Give Me a Chance. Kay also competed in a songwriting competition and ABS-CBN's Himigandog Peep Up Love Song back in 2016 and 2017, where she interpreted Nyebe by Ari Sales in 2016 and the Labu Song by Carl Guerrano and Chidoro Katigbak in 2017. Even though these two entries did not win the competition, the Labu song won the Star Music Listener's Choice Award. Keikal also became part of the ASAP Jambayan from the segment's launch back on October 15, 2017 up until February 2018. As Keikal's career is continuing to grow and being loved by many fans, she had her first concert back on August 18, 2017, titled K-Pop, and also a second concert at UAE titled Valentine Acoustic Night with k Cal back in February 14 to 15, 2019. k Cal loved by many because of how she sings, 
na talaga naman tago sa puso at ramdam na ramdam ang bawat emosyon sa kantang kanyang kinakanta. That is why she was called the acoustic soul artist and the voice of soul. Keiko's deep, soulful, and masculine voice garnered attention for many people, which led to confusion regarding her gender. In an interview back in 2010, she revealed that she received surprises reaction from people upon learning that she is a woman since she also dressed like a man. Like seriously guys, kapag pinigit niyo yung mga mata niyo at makinig kayo sa mga kanta niya, talagang akalain yung lalaki siya eh. Pero hindi lang yun, talagang mas lalaki pa siyang tignan at mas gwapo pa siyang tignan kaysa sa tunay ng mga lalaki. Kagaya ko. On a talk show back in 2017 with Boya Bunda, Keikala stated that she is a proud lesbian and a member of LGBT community. She admitted that it is a struggle for her because her sexuality is not completely accepted by her parents. Some people believe that Keikala uses hormonal injection to achieve her deep and masculine voice, but Keikala denied the allegation and said that it is her natural voice. Keikal also answered some questions in tonight with Boya Bunda's Fast Talk segment. Some of the questions asked her is to choose between piano or guitar, and she chose guitar. Wax or gel? She chose gel. How many glasses of water does she drink a day? And she answered 3 to 5. Who is her idol? Gary V or Noi Volante? And she answered Noi Volante. What's her weakness? Chinita. Paasa ka ba? And she said, Minsan. Here are some facts about Keikal that she answered on an interview with Mix. Keikal loves extreme rides but afraid of heights. Love foot massage? Get soft and flexible fingers. She can make her eyebrows dance, also her tongue can dance too. Her bite mark is shaped like a headphone. She don't put milk on her cereal. She don't like pineapples. She can bake cookies. And she is a soda addict. Keiko's love and passion for music makes the fans love her, but not only that, but also her jolly personality and her genuine smile. Mula sa mga ngiting kayang magpakilig ng ating mga kababaihan, sa pormang napakaastig at napakalinis tignan. Sa mano pa na talaga namang napakagwapong muka at syempre, ang boss na bumibiganay sa ating mga damdamin sa bawat kantang kanya kinakanta ay talaga namang wala ka nang hahanapin pa. Masasabi ko talaga na si Keikal ay isa sa napakagaling at unique na mga awit ng ating bansa. That is it guys for this video. Sana nag-enjoy kayo sa video na to. Sana marami rin kayong natutunan about kay Keikal. Kung nagustuhan nyo tong video na to guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Pahit na rin ang bell icon para manotif kayo sa mga bago kong video na i-upload. Maraming maraming salamat ulit guys. At kung gusto nyo pang makita mga pictures ni Kay, just continue watching. Maraming salamat ulit guys and see you on the next video.